Right now, investigators are digging into the social media sites of the mass shooters in both Dayton, Ohio and El Paso, Texas. President Trump responded to these tragedies with a five-part plan, saying more regulation is needed on social media. We now turn to our News for Jack's consumer investigator, Lauren Verno. So, Lauren, how realistic is this idea that social media sites can be mined for threats uh, to really prevent another kind of tragedy like this one? Well, it's possible, but not feasible. That's what people have been telling me. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube already use technology to sift through these posts, specifically pulling down propaganda from ISIS and Al-Qaeda. But regulating large terrorist groups compared to lone wolves it won is what makes this almost impossible. We can track everything that everybody says on Facebook and Twitter, but then we have to, to carefully measure our response to that. Twitter says in the second half of 2018, they suspended more than 166,000 accounts for promoting terrorism. The company credited its internal tools for flagging 91% of the accounts. And between April and September of 2018, Facebook said it found more than 99% of ISIS and Al-Qaeda content before it was reported. But when dealing with one user, the situation is very different. We have a system that has more checks and balances to prevent just rampant prosecution of harmless statements. So <clears throat> there's a lot more restraint on law enforcement for going after somebody who just expresses a, a mild displeasure. Uh, so they have to be very, very careful because you could ruin somebody's life. Cyber expert Chris Hamer believes more regulation won't work for another reason. Whereas if Facebook in their terms of service and, and their end user license agreement and their community guidelines and everything else, they can be infinitely more restrictive, but their balance has to be how financially that is going to impact us by how many people do we drive away by being too restrictive. An American University social media professor, Dr. Alan Rosenblatt, says preventing all crimes through social media is just not possible. A lot of things are organized and, you know, a lot of killings and, and crime have been organized using phones. And we haven't gone in and uh, banned phones or outlawed people using phones. So Dr. Rosenblatt says there needs to be more ways to report hateful speech online, letting the social media communities be the ones to monitor each other. But overall, the consensus from everyone I spoke to is no matter how much regulation happens, there's going to be other platforms created to avoid just that. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.